scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. God will be visiting people. See, let your heart be open tonight. I know that there are people who are coming just to find out is this thing real or fake? Don't cheat yourself tonight because the Lord of glory is in this place. There are all kinds of people in this place. Open your heart and believe that the Lord is king and he will locate you. Refuse to be a spectator. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet everybody. We see the rain of your love. We feel the wind of your spirit. Now in the heartbeat of heaven, let us keep. We see the rain of your love. We feel the wind of your spirit. Now in the heartbeat of heaven, let us keep. So let it rain. Tonight let it rain Would you open the floodgates of heaven Father let it rain Let it rain Would you open the floodgates of heaven One more time let it rain shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it. Who has prophesied to you that your family must remain in this way? There is a blood that speaketh better things tonight than every ancestral blood of darkness. And I'm going to pray right now and take authority. I tell you the time has come enough is enough everybody shout enough is enough say one more time enough is enough outside I'm telling you what the Lord shows me tonight there will be massive deliverances in this place hallelujah when we start we're just going to move fast so that we will conserve time Hallelujah. Those outside, lift your hands. Just the people outside. Those outside, lift your hands. At the count of three, the angels of deliverance will sweep across and ordinances of darkness. I like you to bring all the people. At the count of three, I like you to shout the name Jesus. Are you ready? Those outside, just the people outside. One, two, three. Ho parekata baladabai. The fire of the Holy Ghost. The altars of Baal. Shekete kepo 
Satan. We set altars of darkness. Shopekaya. Like a mighty rushing wind. Move. The power of God is moving outside in a mighty way. Shake it, take a little top of time. So break it, the bush. I set a place. I set a place. Every power of darkness, every spiritual wickedness, every foul spirit, I command you in the name of the Lord Jesus. The power of God is moving outside. The angel of the Lord moving outside. God is shaking things outside. Shaking things. Shaking things. Shaking things. Every power of hell outside. Release God's people. The power of God is still moving outside. Those of you inside, lift up your hands. At the count of three, I like you to shout the name Jesus. Goodness, I see the angels of the Lord. And these are not the kinds of angels I see every miracle service. Hallelujah. There will be a shout, the healer, the instrumentalist. At the count of three, and the Spirit of God, on behalf of yourself and your family members. Are you ready at the count of three? One, two, three. Jesus! Every demon spirit, every curse, every ordinary, bring them out. What break it? So break it, 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 the fire of the Holy Ghost blowing across this place. The fire of the Holy Ghost outside, outside, outside. There are still angels outside.
Something will lead you tonight. The Lord is releasing people from all kinds of bondages. The power of God is touching somebody outside. In a mighty way, somebody outside. A devil of darkness. You will let her go. Come out of her right now. Come out of her. Devil of darkness. Out. The fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. It's against you tonight. Hallelujah. This girl go now foul devil of darkness come out of her out you're free in the name of Jesus Christ stand up let this girl go now now foul devil in the name that is above all names out you go out now come out of her out of her please make sure everyone is connecting this has nothing to do with falling down. God is visiting people. Look at me. You, look at me. Just look at me. No, you don't need to come out. Just look at me. Look at me. Just keep your eyes looking at me. Let this girl go now. The foul devil of darkness. I come against you and against the infirmity. Come out of her.
Tonight is your night of visitation. Hold my hand. Come out of her. God is going to visit this whole family. Hallelujah. Because I'm seeing the thing of darkness. This is what God is showing me. I didn't even know I was pointing to family members. Hallelujah. Mommy, let me pray for you. Because this is, this is a demonic thing. Trying to affect your health. Please hold my hands. Mommy, please. Look. Please. If you can shout Jesus as loud as you can. Can you? Just as loud as you can. Go ahead. In the name that is above all names. Please lay one hand on your chest. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. This is a curse of marital delay. Let her go. Now! Thank you, Jesus. Come out of her! Out of her! Come out! You're free. Same thing. Come out of her right now. Devil of darkness. You are leaving. I see you in the spirit. You are going. It's time for this family to step into a new level. Be free. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Any lump. Lump in your breast lump anywhere is going to live right now. Make sure you check yourself. Instant miracles of lumps. I, I saw it and the Lord told me it's time. I want to pray it right now. I told somebody to come out. I brought somebody from that room. Who is the person? I told that God will visit her. Not the woman. Do you know why I called you out? The Lord will wipe these tears that you're crying tonight. Are you listening to me? Just look at me. Roll away. Shame and reproach. Roll away. Shame and reproach. Give her a new beginning, oh God. Visit her family. I want to rebuke lumps right now. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This is, this is God is helping people. There are people you've had lumps, multiple lumps in your breast. It's going to disappear right now. Hallelujah. Maybe we'll have a few. Let me tell something with this lady. You notice she's always coming out. I'll see her afterwards. A literal human being appears to sleep with this girl. This is what is responsible. This is, this, is, this is not just an issue of deliverance. This is an issue of help. This is a family thing. This is what the Lord is showing me. This is not just the devil coming. I mean, this is not in a dream. Uh -uh. You see, that's why whenever they come, these spirits leave her, but they don't go away. Early in the morning, they will reappear again. That's it. So, just, just let her be. God will set her free. Hallelujah. Are you ready, Lums? In the name of Jesus. Please, as soon as I pray for you, make sure you start checking yourself. Many of you will be shocked. It will look like magic. Maybe we'll take some testimonies here. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, every lump in your breast 
or any part of your body your neck your waist wherever right now i command it to disappear in the name of jesus i command it to leave be healed right now be healed right now go ahead begin to check yourselves come bring that child can we have the mic please what's 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 this what's the issue help us with the mic please he has not been eating who brought him whose child is this where is his mother if we are calling your child mama please come let's save time huh they came all the way from Kano. Yes, I asked them to come. You rejoice because you will know you meet God tonight. Amen. Please, somebody hold this child because you too. Come out of her. Out. Hold this child, please. You are the first to be visited. All the way from Kano. That devil. This woman is supposed to die before the end of the year. I curse this spirit. Out right now. Out of her with a loud shout you are going. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What's wrong with the child? He has not been eating. So we take him to the Why did he have all this abnormality? The so, doctors. Madam, look at me. You are delivered. I don't know what it is that runs through your leg, but I'm seeing light. Power of God. Hallelujah. What happened to your child? Talk to us, please. Let's save time. I gave back to him normal. It was normal when I gave back to him. Okay. So when he was four months. We discovered that the front was enlarging. So we went to hospital after the scanning. They said that there is water in the head. That water came. Water? Yes. That's hydrocephalus. So we need doctors. Who is a doctor here? They said he was going to undergo operation. Not student doctor. Eh? Okay, come. Thank you, sir. What? They say hydrocephalus. What's that? Hydrocephalus is a combination of water in, in the furnaces of the brain. Okay, what does it what does it lead to this? Yes. It will keep on enlarging until the capacity of the bone is able to contain it. So the bone itself will keep on enlarging and the sinuses, that is the sutures, will keep on expanding. Does it have a medical cure? Um, the only medical cure is to drain the water. But even as at that, I don't think it has a medical cure. For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. That he might destroy the works of you. See, the Bible says from the beginning it was not so. This is nonsense. Are you listening to me? And our job is to bring everything back to the obedience of Christ. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray. This demonic, you did not create. Look at me. Come back. Leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her. Don't talk to her. She will come back. You will come back with a testimony. This child's head will start reducing. Are you hearing me? This child, it supernaturally, you will see it go back. Are you listening to me? Hold on, I know. I'm seeing a girl. Baby girl. That was my first daughter. I lost her. Where is she? She's dead. She's dead. That's what I said. The spirit of death. You would have died before the end of the year because I'm seeing a baby girl. And then I didn't see her again. Where's your husband? He's in Canada. Get ready. A baby girl is coming again. Huh? Are you listening to me? Yes. I have three boys. I just gave birth. It was still a boy. I was not happy. That's what I'm telling you. Did, did you discuss this with me? Did you discuss this with me? Please, if I don't call any case, don't start bringing people out. Please, please. But let her come out. If we, if if we don't call cases, please, we are taking this. 
I'm meeting you for the first time. That's what I'm saying. Knowing me is not important. It's the Lord Jesus Christ whom you know. He will come back here and give a testimony Amen. of a baby Amen. girl. Amen. All right? The flame of death. And tell your husband, where is he working? He worked with your school. He and said, then what happened? He's still working. He's still working there. Yes. That's not where he's supposed to be. Huh? We take him to the rightful place. Amen. Where God will bless him. Because this, this has been a financial challenge. This is issue of money. Yes. Yes. Is that true? Yes. But you people too are not very faithful in tithing. So you must have been faithful in tithing. Huh? Did you discuss this with me? No. You will tie it one today because of an emotional message. The only way God knows. You open the door for Satan. Hmm? Madam, you will go back with favor. Amen. I release upon you that grace for favor. You came with them. What's wrong with his ears? Uh, they took him to the hospital. He was... He's was... still as a result. It's as a result of all of these things. He's connected. Don't worry. As God is taking him back, there will be complete restoration. Amen. Your son will not. You will come back here with testimonies. Who are you? You know them, or you are from Kano too? My elder sister. Your elder sister. Yes, Tell sir. me one thing you want the Lord to do for you. To heal. Think well, not him. You. Don't just talk carelessly. I'm not. Not many people will have the opportunity to be asked this question. Let me tell you. To help my family with open doors of favor. Where is your father? My father is late. Where's your mother? Behind them. No, no, no. I'm not saying she should come out. Okay. She's sitting behind them. You are a student? Yes. I finished my secondary school tonight. So I've been writing jumps since. This is what you would have asked. This is why I asked you. That's what I was praying for you. Eh? You have your relatives here. People who know you who are also praying for you. Hold my hands. Get into the university. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever the problem is, we cancel it here right now. I don't care what it is. We admit you into any university of your choice. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is your number one desire. God will locate your family. Bless you. Where is, please, who brought this woman? Please, if we don't call your case, we are going to, we are going to deal with this. If not, we will have this place very rowdy now. Who brought this woman? Oh, yeah, come now. Who brought her? No, no, don't worry, don't worry. What's wrong with her? She has brain problem. Brain? She lost her memory. She lost her memory. She's lost her memory. She doesn't know you now. Ah! What happened? Don't know. I'm just her house help. Oh, you are just her house help? Come and help me. Look at this girl. Many house helps... This is the time to plunder and run away, Pastor. May God turn you from a house help to a great woman. This is your own blessing this night. Hallelujah. This is terrible. Thank you, Jesus. That devil of darkness, he will let this woman go. I bring you life life to these dead cells dead brains in the name of Jesus stand up stand up you look at me just look at me Just look at me. Just try to look at me. You come back to your miracle. Find somewhere and keep this, this noise again. Sweetheart, I pray for you. May the Lord visit you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody brought somebody brought a very sick person.
I'm saying, we'll pray for them, but the Lord is showing me, you brought somebody, is he a sick person? Who is that person? Inside or outside? Please, let's save time more. God really wants to visit people and we don't want to waste unnecessary time here. He will come back with testimonies for this woman. It's terrible. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone. You literally feel as though they put pepper in your eyes. When you look at light like this, it burns you seriously. This thing started this year. Who is that person, please? Who is that person? Who is that person, oh? Is she the... Okay, come. Who brought her? Mama? Does she, can I speak English or does she want to answer? Come now, why are you afraid? Huh? What's, what's the issue? Diabetes. Diabetes. It's affecting, also her eyes. it's affecting her eyes. I'll pray for her. Tell her I'll pray for her and the Lord will heal her. Is she hearing? Is she here? Mama, I'll pray for you right now. This is a spirit. Be healed of diabetes right now. I come against that foul spirit. Check herself. Find out that there's no diabetes again. You, you came for yourself. What's wrong with you? Um, it's not that I'm sick. Okay. I need marriage and. I'm... You want to get married? Go straight to the point. Look, let me tell you something. If we ask you to come out here and we and you are just talking stories, you go back to your seat. Praise God. This is this is a family. Nobody is against marriage here. Is that true? If you came here for marriage, when we are praying, receive it. Don't say my neighbor will look. You don't want to get married. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at me. Did you hear the testimonies of the marriage? Sir? The marriage yes, testimony is, yes, do you sir. believe God is still at work in this place? Yes, sir. Hold my hands. Are you in a relationship? Mm. You need to be delivered first before marriage. Mm. I release you from this curse. This is what has been holding her back. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. We will come back with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I want to pray for supernatural marriages. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Some of you will need to outside. Are you, can you hear me outside? You can stand for yourself or for your family members. I want to pray. Make sure the person you want to get married to is of the opposite sex. Hallelujah. Can I pray for you? Please believe the Lord. Because one of the things that has been happening in this place is supernatural inexplainable the hand of God lift your hands 
in the name that is above all names. Now, there are some of you, as I pray, you see, some of you, what is stopping you is the hand of darkness. For a few people, not everybody, because I'm seeing spirits. The moment I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, the hand of God will come upon some people. Hallelujah. It will come upon them in a mighty way. That's what is stopping the marriage. Lift your hands. Not everybody you can receive, but there are some people, this is what they need. Hallelujah. When I say in the name of Jesus, I just want you to shout, I receive. The moment you say that God will visit some people, I see God touching two ladies outside on this. This, this marriage thing, we must deal with it this night. How many of you believe it? In the mighty name of Jesus. Now that devil of darkness that is responsible for delay in marriages. Come out right now. Come out right now. Come out right now. That devil of darkness that is responsible. The power of God is falling. That devil. There are spirits that are responsible for delay. Come out. 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 These are demon spirits. Out in the name of Jesus. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. Marital delay. The Lord rebuke you. I tell you, God is setting people free. Marital delay as it's happening. Marital delay. Marital delay is a yoke of bondage outside. The fire of God is visiting a few people. All those above 30, 30 and above who have not gotten married, ladies, let God visit you now. I release that fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Let there be testimonies of supernatural marriages. This role. I see an angel standing there is one lady the power of god will come upon you strong that devil of darkness enough is enough just this row because i see the angel of the lord standing lord let that person come out the holy ghost will bring you out you will come out you will come out you will come out by the power of the holy ghost leave her alone she will come out no Hallelujah. I want to curse barrenness. Are you listening to me? Now is the time to stand for your loved ones, for yourself. Some of you lived all kinds of reckless past lives. As you are standing now, you may not even have a womb. A new one will come upon you. When God forgives sins, He forgives consequences. I don't care what the biological complication is. I like you to receive. You will come back with testimonies. Hallelujah. Now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That curse of childlessness. In the name of Jesus. I set you free. I set you free. I set your loved ones free. I set you free. Any barren person in this place, any barren family in this place, ma ta 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 ta, rekete te te, rekete te te, reke po shoto, batoko po teke, reke te po soko chopa, leke po riata, man reke te 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 te, eke po roto pakata.
You will come back with miracle children. You will come back with miracle children. Your loved ones will come back with miracle children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for a few people. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is showing me some people. You've been so you are an adult, but you don't know what happens. You've been suffering from bedwetting. You wake up in the morning and you find out that you are easing yourself on your bed. There's, no, there's nothing to be embarrassed. Man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are that kind of person. Come and stand out here quickly. Forget about who is watching you. Nobody has that time. Let me tell you. There are people like that. A devil of darkness. Inside and outside. This is a, this is a demonic issue. There are people low. There are people. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. It's a spirit. It's not just about discipline. You can't stop it with discipline. I don't know why God is visiting that situation. Hallelujah. Let's take the next case. I'm seeing problems with your heart. Whether hole in your heart or any form of asthmatic condition. Please come out quickly. Hole in your heart or asthmatic condition. Please let's save time. That devil is a liar. I've, I had an accident. After the accident, they said my heart will enlarge and there is uh, infection. It will, it will go back. Amen. Be free right now. Amen. Heart, return to your normal condition. Infection, go. In the name of the Lord Jesus. As I lay hands on you, whatever the issue is, you will be healed of it. Whether heart, asthma, be free right now. Please make sure you are coming out for the case we are mentioning. What are you coming out for? Feeling a hole in my heart. Always, ever since I saw from Osa. After Did the doctors family, tell you? Yes. After the treatment, the also that been disturbing me, but it's just for a while. But that whole sister, come, God will visit you. This has nothing to do with also. Hmm? Where's your? You have an elder sister. Yes. Where is she? She's in Abuja. Is she married? Yes. What What's yes. she doing? She's married, but the first child she gave birth to, it has been a problematic child, but this is six years now. She has not stepped her feet on the on the ground and she has not started talking. And Can all this why she has not given birth at all. Lay one hand on your chest. See, whatever is happening to one person here is happening to you too. Are you listening to me? You must believe it. This lady with yellow that lady, you, 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 no, no, don't come out. Just lift your hands where you are. Both of your hands now, are you pledging? Look at me. Father, visit this girl. The Lord is showing me something about her. Lord, visit this lady. Set her free.
It's like a mighty rushing wind. That spirit will not stand. It's looking like a knife is going through you. Set her free, Lord. What's wrong with you? Lay your hands there. Since when? Just lay your hands and look at me. Don't worry. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Heart. Okay, just hold my hands as I pray for you. You'll be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Come. We love God very well. What of you is not true. How true is it? <laughs> eh? Shall we see how true it is? Lord, visit him. I break this addiction from your life. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Why did you say it's true? You do. Amen. Let it not corrupt your Christian testimony. Amen. God is not just visiting you, but your family. You are in for it with God this night because this is multiple. Some families have put some people in trouble they don't know. Parents in their innocence have gone to do things in a bit to try to help the be healed, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of hope, be free. This is what is happening. This thing is all the way from Lagos. This is God setting this lady free. Sometimes we do things, parents be careful. You go to places and do things believing you are helping your children. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. I release you in the name of Jesus Christ because God wants to use you in your mighty healing ministry. Be healed in the name of Jesus. My brother, God is calling you this night. When I make the altar call, before I finish, just run and come and stand here. Right? This is your night. Eh? There is no issue of running to God and then God brought you because we love you. Okay? You deserve You deserve You deserve The lifting of my You deserve Just walk with me. You deserve. Don't be looking at me. Don't worry. This means this is confusion. 
And this is why God is telling me, this is how your life is. That's why I held you and I was walking. God wants to set you free from serious confusion. You are easily deceived. Anybody can tell you anything. And that's why I was moving around. This does not, this is confusion. Hmm? You get easily deceived. Anybody just say anything and you believe. Can I pray for you? Hold my hands, both of your hands. Satan, it's time up for you with this lady. Foul spirit. You will let this lady go. Release her. You can't stand it. I've seen you in the spirit. God is against you. This demonic thing must leave you. That you will have a strong heart. The Bible says, Be wise as serpents. What are you here for, my sister? Oh, while you were praying, you saw yourself on the ground. You decided to come and report yourself. <laughs> what do you think God is doing? Just stretch your hands like you're receiving something. Look at me. Truly, you will receive something. Just look at me. Come heaven because you are receiving spiritual things. <laughs> you can't hold it, it's too heavy for you. For you and for all your family members, may God visit you. God is not done with you. There is a fire that will burn you. The same thing will be happening to your family members. You need to be free. You love God, but there are all kinds of encumbrances. This night, this one is not just deliverance. This one is God catching you finally for him. Lord, take over her whole life from head to toe. Take over everything you can take over in this lady's life. Cares, go! Cares, go! Yes, go! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray. Just leave her out because she's not recovering soon. This one is not just deliverance. God is taking, I have found my servant David. This is what is happening. When God finds a man, he doesn't leave you easily. He makes sure that you rise up with a hunger that nothing else. I trust God that this will happen to many people in this place tonight. Because I tell you, pastor, a lot of people are in certain situations because they love God but they have cares. So they, are, they, are, they easily become praise. It's not enough to, to be healed or to be delivered. Your heart must be with God for you to walk in sustainable victory. Many people like miracle service. They just run and come and take the miracle and then they run away. But let me tell you something. Your heart, come sister. Unto him come who sits on the throne Let God find you today. Are you hearing me? To Jesus, the Lamb, who was made. Hold my hands. Father, find a vessel in this lady. Do with her what only you can do. Ignite a fire in her spirit. Even as you have revealed to me, let this lady have a, a passion that cannot be quantified. In the name of Jesus, every spiritual weakness leaves you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ.
the Lamb who was slain. The Lord is healing my grain headache. The Lord is healing my grain headache. My grain headache. Intense. My grain headache. Where's my neighbor? Is she here? She, she didn't come. Please come. Tonight the Lord is going to visit you. See, many of you don't know that there's something called the season of God's visitation. Who is precious here? Precious. You are precious. Your real name, old one, precious. <laughs> Make sure it's the name your father gave you, not the one you gave yourself. This night, say I must be precious. God, you must visit me. Many people threaten me with text messages during the miracles. I say, see, God must visit me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lord is visiting you. Hold my hands. This demon of marital delay is going. You will go to a real deliverance, right? Come out! Come out of her! Shataka balata pokosia. The fire of God is burning your whole body from head to toe. It's a foul spirit. In this area, we are going to celebrate your wedding. It, I'm announcing it this night. In this area, we are going to celebrate your wedding. That foul devil, come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out. Of her. Come out. Come out of her. Come out to a foul spirit. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted. This is a snake. Look at, look at what is happening. Look at what is happening. Are you seeing? Look at, look at this. This is what is responsible. Come out. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Just leave her. It cannot stand. It's going. Now, foul devil, you will release her. There is no hiding. The power of God is against you. You will go and return no more. And as you are going, I call forth your husband, not a man. Your husband. Your husband. Precious. All of you. All of you are... No, no, no. I didn't ask my green to come out. But since you came out, may God visit you. You have an elder brother? Where is he? He's in Abuja. Doing what? He's, no, he's doing nothing. He went for holidays. Which holiday? He went to Hosu. Tell him to come back. This is what happens to people. They, they just believe that bread is in Abuja. Let me tell you. If some of you want to run you want to fake visa and run to germany can i tell you something the bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the west because some of you are already planning you just believe you say you are running where to say greener pastures the bible says he makes me lie down in the green pastures is the presence of god don't feel embarrassed Okay. May the Lord visit you and visit your brother in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be a great teacher of the word. Huh? You will be a great teacher of the word. Something like light will hit your eyes right now. And God will give you the spirit of revelation. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Open his eyes. Open his eyes.
Jesus Christ. You will be rich, oh. Because you have suffered, you will be rich. And look at me, I'm not just, this is not entertainment. I'm telling you the word of the Lord. Huh? Never forget the house of God, but you will be mightily blessed. How it will happen, we even make people think you went to diabolic, you went and did diabolic things. May the Lord bring this to pass. You will see it happen. Some of you don't know that God will use you more than you have planned. You just think you will just be passive in the house of God and not do anything. No way. God knows how to get you. He will bring you for miracle service quietly. While you are thinking fashion and business and this... God is thinking fashion plus ministry. It's not just fashion, oh my dear. And beauty makeup is, is, is a serious call. Your name is Precious. Where's your mother? God wants to visit your family. Yes. Tell your mother to forgive everybody that has done whatever. Yes. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Who offended her? It was one of our uncles. She said, Abba. To her, she said that he, she used to tell us as our children that, that he maltreated her. This thing, since when she was small when till was now, small. this is what is stopping her breakthrough. Did you discuss this with me? No. Let her forgive, please. For as long as you keep somebody down, part of you will still be down. Is that true? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. All those who are called into the worship ministry, please, listen. If you come out here, I, I don't mean you like singing or you have a passion. No, I, I like singing. I'm not called into the worship ministry. You get my point? Please, don't be emotional about it about it come and line up here quickly quickly god wants to visit people i don't know why worship ministry will be alive to see you if after this prayer worship ministry ah. please think about it oh <laughs> see the worship ministry is not a hobby Blessed is he. If there's no space, just stand where you are because fire, there's going to be a restoration of the Davidic order of worship. Believe it. I'm going to stand. Listen, as I walk around this place, the power and is, is fire that will come. It will catch many of you in a mighty way. Lord Jesus, as I begin to take it, take it right now, take it, fall, fall, take it, take it, take the fire, 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 take the fire. Take the fire. The Davidic order of worship. Take the fire. Take the fire. Take the fire. Take the fire. Shaka balada bataka. Sing like angels. Receive it. It's coming on you. Lift up your hands, all of you that came to the front. My God, let it fall right now. My God, let it fall right now. To those standing at the door, let it fall, 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 take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, healing anointings, not for us at
many of you will hear songs in your spirit new songs psalms hymns spiritual songs psalms hymns spiritual songs receive it psalms hymns spiritual songs songs of power songs of light songs of grace songs of healing Consecration is the key. Consecration is the key to a life of true worship. Consecration. Thank God for the music dimension. But consecration is the key to a genuine life. You want to stand, some of you are already looking for money. If this is your ambition, you will not get this Davidic anointing. It doesn't happen that way. Your heart must pant after God and after his kingdom. You must stay in the place of training until he builds you. Oh, let it fall. Yes, Lord, let it fall. Let it fall. As it were in the days of Jehoshaphat. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall dimensions lord release it from the east side of the temple let there be a releasing songs of power songs of the spirit hallelujah so that we will do mighty things for our god hallelujah please go back to your seat Thank you, Jesus. Did you bring prayer requests? Please pass them quickly. Now, all those who are sick, inside and outside, please, I'd like you to come out quickly. While this is happening, be passing the prayer requests. Please, let's save time. Do it quickly. Mighty things are happening in this place. Man, de 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 bakoso so 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 do 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 prato shubata. Zike te 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 preke te pele de bush. Please don't be in a rush this night, because what God wants to do, He has not finished. Zise 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 mene ke te pele de bush. Please, you are sick. Come out, just ush us help and line them up, please, please. Quickly, quickly, this is a miracle service. As you come and stand, trust God for your miracle. Trust God for your healing, please. If you are doubting, just go back to your seat. Anybody who is, please play the instruments. Anybody, mic, music director, whoever. Malia Marako, Sobreti Kalabash. Those of you, those of you stay, make sure you are praying for them. As I lay my hands on you, I want to assure you. Please believe God for real miracles. Some of you as you are standing, because there is a healing river, as you are standing, you can't stand that majestic healing presence of the Holy Spirit. It's a majestic presence. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit, gentle touch, help me, Pastor. Please help him with your mic. Is flowing. Jesus, Jesus. we, we believe. Make sure you pass Jesus, your prayer request. I tell you, there is a there healing is river. Healing in your there is a name. healing river. Hey, As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit, 
mighty Give things in this place. one of the biggest miracles that will happen in this place tonight. Many of you don't know what a breakthrough is. The Bible says, and Abraham was old and stricken in age 
and God had blessed him in all things. This is what we call breakthrough. Hallelujah. Please, if you have not submitted your request, let me tell you where we got the revelation of this. The Bible says, and they sent a threat letter to Hezekiah. Remember? And the Bible says, Hezekiah took the letter and came and dropped it on the altar and showed God the threatenings. And when that happened, there was wisdom that was revealed and they strategized worshippers and the Bible says that they began to fight themselves in the camp. You will see a lot of confusion as we begin to pray for this thing. I don't mean confusion here. Confusion in the camp of the enemy. Whatever request you brought in this place, I really want, many of you don't know what God is doing this night. God is setting people on fire. We have a few minutes remaining. But God will visit you. We want you to come back with evidences that God touched you. See, when you get results, it's a consolation to your Christian work. Are you listening to me? Those outside, look at some of you standing. Standing right across, I see you. God cannot allow you to go back the same way. It's impossible. You didn't come to meet an idol. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet, everybody. It's a very prophetic moment right now. As we pray, I'd like to ask the ministers, Pastor Williams. Pastor. So. Please, if you've not written your request, drop it. God is doing great things in this place. As we begin to pray on this request. Hallelujah. Pray along with us. Prophesy. Stretch your hands and pray. Tell the Lord, this is my request, O Lord. This is my request. Father, locate people. Locate people, oh God. Locate cases. There are, there are difficult cases. Cases of barrenness. Deliverances for families. Lord, this is an altar you have sanctified. In one accord we pray. Just lay your hands across it as we release the virtue of perfection. Total breakthroughs. Academic breakthroughs. Make sure you are praying. Say, Lord, my request in this is in this place. Locate it. Those online, we are connecting with them also in the spirit. Those following us on all of our online channels. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Release breakthroughs to families. We sanctify these requests. These Egyptians will never be seen in families and lives again. Change stories, oh God. Omnipotent Father, Lord God of mercy and grace, the God who says a thing and accomplishes in the life of his children, the I am that I am, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Who is there like unto you? You are greater than the greatest. You are stronger than the strongest. You are mightier than the mightiest. You are the one who sits in the heavens and you made the earth your footstool. You are great. You are greatly to be praised. We thank you because of this opportunity that you have given unto us, O oh God, to bring down our needs 
our supplication, our request unto your feet. You said in your word that you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly far above all we ever ask, think, or imagine according to the power that is at work within us. We thank you, O oh God, because we know that every need that has been penned down, every request that has been written down, you have already seen it. You have already seen it. And because you have seen it, we thank you because this, this request are seen by the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And we see you doing great things in this place tonight. Thank you for the testimonies. Thank you for the testimonies that are coming out from this pen down written notes. We thank you for the testimonies coming out from this. In the name of Jesus, we bless you because we know that we will come here next time to give you thanks of what you have done. Thank you Lord because every need, every need, every need here, they are met. Amen. We give you thanks. Thank you, Lord we give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. Oh God, we give you thanks. Lord, we give you thanks. We give you praise. For we know that all things work together for our good. We give you thanks. We give you praise. For by faith we know your grace. We see us through. Praise the Lord. My God, as I pray, you gave me an anointing to bless, an anointing to release. Father, as many people as are in this place, inside and outside, they came here hungry. And Lord, as I speak on behalf of the government of heaven, let these words be so effectual. Let these words be fervent. Respond, O oh God. Every word I declare, let there be testimonies that will return. Every word that I'm about to declare to you, Please, when I pray, I like you to shout amen with all your heart. Because I sense a very strong prophetic anointing coming upon me. I really want to speak from the depths of my heart. I don't just want you to believe it. I want you to return. The Bible says, and the 70 returned rejoicing. Hallelujah. Shiva I want to pray for families. Lift your hands. Let's start with families right now. Please, I'd like you to shout amen with all your heart. Hallelujah. Every family represented in this place, every family, any curse, any ordinance of darkness, every yoke of bondage, afflicting any family I set you free now in the name of Jesus I set families free now in the name of Jesus I set families free now in the name of Jesus I set families free now in the name of Jesus father mother brothers sisters be free be free, be free, be free, be free, be free, be free. Oh, you will come back with testimonies. Every 
anyone here whether you or your family members looking for a job in the mighty name that is above all names between today and the next 40 days I place a demand upon the heavens receive miracle jobs receive miracle jobs receive miracle jobs for you for your loved ones probation you are trusting the hand whatever it is you are doing your project things are difficult whatever academic issue tonight in the name of the Lord God of Israel the one who does wonders in this place I declare step into a season of academic victory step into a season of academic victory I release you from any kind of bondage I release you any kind of academic bondage be free be free be free Amen. hallelujah all those who are due for marriage whether you or your love your loved ones see let me tell you in this place once you are of marriageable age, you must marry. Are you hearing me? Are you listening to me? What did I say? Right. Hallelujah. Somebody married, that's why you are here. You must marry. Praise God. Are you listening to me? Right now, I speak as a servant of the living God. I've prayed about it, but I will pray again. I pray. Some of you, you are a lady, you are pretty. But no man can come around. This is a curse. Tonight I pray that your wives and your husbands, those of you who are who have concubines and etc. When I make the altar call, run out here. Because this is what will stop you. You are entitled to only one wife. Say amen. You are entitled to only one husband. Say amen. amen. The spirit of double dating dies here tonight. Leave another sister's husband to locate her husband. Leave another brother's wife to locate him. But I pray in the name of Jesus, before the end of this year, may there be fearful or inspiring Miracle marriage. Take it. Take it. God told it Before December 31st, 2013, come back with testimonies for yourself, for your loved ones. We supply the resources. We supply the place. Any terminal disease in this place 
HIV, whatever it is. Hallelujah. Infections, all kinds of satanic names. I declare right now, we curse it from the root in the name of Jesus. Anyone here whose genotype is SS or AS in the name that is above all names, be changed, be changed to AA. I change it in the name of the Lord. Receive it. Receive a change of genotype. You will come back with testimonies. Believe it. Receive it. Everything he made, he made it beautiful. Any kind of demonic dreams and oppressions of darkness. Some of you see people sleep with you. Some of you see all kinds of demonic things. Molestations of darkness. I pray right now. The last time you had that dream or that experience, let it be the last time forever in your life. I said, let it be the last time forever. Let it be the last time forever. Satan, I curse you. I curse every foul spirit. Those who are students and are in final year, I declare those who need the mercy of God for their graduation, I pray right now. Let policies be changed. Let something happen in your faculty that has never happened. We release you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to prophesy restoration. Whatever it is that you have lost, whether as a result of your past or mistakes, opportunities, graces, I pray that the God who regulates times and seasons, let that season come back to your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every lecturer in this place or those who your parents are lecturers stand for them I want to speak there are lecturers whose promotions are overdue is that true is that true in the name that is above all names this night we command even offices that are not available we create it for them this night in the name of Jesus the Bible says and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon king sent for Joseph tonight I connect you with supernatural destiny helpers that will take you from where you are to the next level I connect you I call for the helpers of your destiny financial helpers marital helpers career helpers spiritual helpers receive their ministry in your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray any project anyone is doing here, whether you or your whether building project, whatever it is, for you and for your families, you are building a three-bedroom flat that has taken over ten years. This is a curse. I pray right now in the name of Jesus let there be supernatural supplies the beds that brought food for the prophet I command may they locate your family I open up the heavens over your family in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. One of the things God is doing in this season is preparing people for dimensions of prosperity that will scare people. Hallelujah. God is seriously looking for men who he will trust. These men will not just get well, they will be trained. 
the first thing you need is the staying grace the school is not easy let me tell you the truth but happy are you when you pass through it because you will command wealth that will make you afraid i pray for you every curse of poverty and lack there are some of you who are kingdom financiers the power of god will come upon you kingdom financiers kingdom financiers kingdom financiers kingdom financiers now i pray for everyone this cause of poverty that is upon many lives and families that has closed the heaven over many people in the name of the lord jesus this night by the sure mercies of the god of david i command your heavens to be open i command your financial heavens be open be open be open be open be open be open That bring prosperity, favor, and wisdom. Hallelujah. Money comes through favor, it is preserved through wisdom. The Bible says, Through wisdom is a house built, and by understanding it is established. Through knowledge, the rooms are filled with every treasurable thing. I pray, let your hands receive wealth that only God can give. inexplainable but undeniable receive it in the name of Jesus let me tell you brothers it is not by power when it comes to prosperity it is not by might it's by the spirit of God hallelujah two more things and we're up I want to pray for favor. This is one of the things we enjoy in abundance. Hallelujah. I cannot tell you how the favor of God works. No man can explain it. But I know it works. I know it works. I am a testament. If you believe I want you to believe many of you, you you are used to suffering you don't know what the favor of God can do some of our family members what you need is the favor of God the Bible says in Isaiah 44 verse 3 it said they got not into their land they got not the land by their possessions. Neither did their arms save them. But because you had, you showed favor towards them. Please believe. One encounter of favor. I tell you it can, it can, it can keep you in a position for a lifetime. Believe it. There is something called divine favor. What you see today is the evidence. We have never paid a dime for this venue. The last miracle service, I still don't know who paid for the venue. This is the favor of God. I want you to believe it. If you want to work for everything in your life, get set to die. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Favor. For many of you to come on you, this is what you need. I'm telling you, this is what you need. Families, what you need is favor, not stories. My God, my God. I pray in the name of Jesus the favor that is upon Koinonia I take it and I release it to your life take it now take it now take it now take it now, take it now. I activate favor 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 with God favor with man favor receive it Favor. Koinonia is called the place of intimacy and partnership with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You cannot come here tonight 
and not be on fire for God. You cannot be here tonight and not be on fire for the things of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to release grace that your spiritual life will stand strong and solid. Many of you, your prayer altars are dead. It's not because you don't love God. Hallelujah. Many of you, one leg in, one leg out. Last year, you were on fire this year. Hallelujah. Many of our mothers, fathers, people at home, our prayer life, our word life, we are looking for things that only the word of God can give us. But Jesus said to Martha, I said, one thing is needful. One thing. One thing. I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. Alongside with this, I want to pray for the distribution of the gifts of the spirit. Hallelujah. Paul said, I long to come to you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established. A powerless Christianity, and I'm not talking of just falling out. Christianity with results. Christianity with proofs. We have too many talkatives in the body of Christ. Inside or outside. Some of you have been crying and said, Lord, can't my life not have proofs? Can't the sick be healed through my hands too? Can I not bless people and it will work for them? Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. I consider it to be an all important impartation. Please get ready because it will come upon you. Different kinds of gifts of the spirit. Stirrings of the spirit. At the count of three. I want you to shout Jesus. At the shout of that name. Some of you will. Will be set on fire literally. So that your spiritual life will be hot. So that God will use you and do wonders. Are you ready? Shout it with all your heart at the count of three. One. Two. Three. Take it. God of knowledge. Take it. Gifts of wisdom. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Inside and outside.
can live without you. I can live without you. Tell me, what can I do? I can live. There's a part of I want to sing. Oh. Oh. oh, oh. Come on, lift your voice. Chant it in the spirit. Oh, 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 Sing it one more time from the depths of your heart. Hallelujah. This is koinonia, an experience of intimacy with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There's a family that has been on my mind. I don't know if they are here. The family with the... Is it the mad person now? Or the, are they here? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We're in for an experience tonight. I began to see this right from the morning. I'm telling you, chains are breaking. Chains are breaking. I still hear this in my spirit. Chains are breaking. 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 Oh, let the chains break. Every chain over everyone here. Every chain. Every chain. Every chain. Every assault of darkness. Every chain. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every chain. Every chain. Every chain is broken right now. Chains of habits, chains of limitations. Hallelujah. You're the person. Please confirm it. Where's the family that there was a there are people that spoke to me about someone? They are not here. Someone who got mad or psychosomatic. It's not a word of knowledge. There is a family that I'm supposed to minister to here. Okay, if they are not around, that's okay. Why are you here? Your brother, your elder brother, what's wrong with him? Come. How many years? Seven years. Where is he? At home. I'll pray the Lord will use you as a point of contact. Lord Jesus, let your power touch the brother, even through him, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me many ladies with abdominal pain. Just place your hand there right now. The Lord is showing me many people especially ladies hallelujah i'm just going to rebuke it and i see like like they look like guns but it's fire literal fire it will live and it will hit you and that's the end of it 
Thank you, Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, right now, I cause that pain. Go now. Go now. 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 Every devil of darkness responsible for every pain, I cause you now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Be healed right now. Be healed. The power of God is healing them right now. Right now. Right now. You may not even know right now. The sign is that it will touch you. It must touch you. You can't stand on your feet. If you are part of this list, it will touch you. That's what the Lord is showing me. I cause that pain. I cause that spirit of infirmity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Everyone lay your hand on your chest. The Lord is going to rebuke blood conditions right now. Blood conditions. Blood conditions. Blood conditions. All those who are part of it, there will be this same fire. It will come upon you in a mighty way. It's a sign that you are the one God is touching. This is not something vague. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Right now, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, blood conditions, I speak to you. All those affected, may the fire of God set you free. Now. 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 Now the power of God is touching people. Right now. Right now. I cause that devil. I cause that devil. I cause that devil. I cause that devil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I cause that spirit. I cause that spirit. I see visions of the spirits of infirmity. Living people. Living people. Living people. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cast that spirit. The Lord is showing me two ladies. And I'm seeing a guy. You have a problem with sleeping. You don't sleep. No matter what happens, you don't sleep. You just stay awake and sleep never comes. Where are they? Two ladies I see the Lord showing me. Please let's save time. And one guy. Please save time if, if, if you are the one just so that save us all of the time. How long has it been? Huh? Six months. How about you? Huh? I'm seeing your hands chained. Your own situation. There's, there's one more lady. The Lord is showing me. There's still one more lady. There's one more lady. The Lord is showing me. Hallelujah. Come, I have to pray for you. Yours is more than a sleep problem. Hold my hands. I cost this chains. In the name of Jesus Christ, let her go right now. And I break by the power of the Holy Spirit, this spirit that causes you not to sleep. You are set free in the name of Jesus Christ. How many months? Six months. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be free right now. You will begin to sleep normally. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is touching someone's ear. Right now as I speak. The Lord is touching someone's ear. You will literally feel as though a cotton board. Is put in your ear. And all of a sudden. It will open up and become clearer. Thank you Lord Jesus. I give you praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is healing a lady of a breast lump. You began to see this. You've not even shared it 
with many people. Breast lump is living right now, right now, dissolving and going back to hell, never to return to you again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are four people. Listen. There are four families that as I speak right now, the angel of the Lord is going to their homes and is causing major breakthroughs. Listen. Listen. It's not, it's not just prophecy for everybody. Four exact people. One. There are four of them. Two. The angel of the Lord literally, literally, literally is entering these homes and they are receiving dramatic breakthroughs. Dramatic breakthroughs. The Lord is showing me over 10 people and I see academic chains. This is what I see. 10 people. 10 people. And this is not your fault. 10 people. I'm going to begin to count 1 to 10 and goodness it's like fire 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 i cost those spirits two three four five six kapototo badakata seven eight nine i cost those chains i cost those chains i cost those chains It comes to an end. I tell you, it comes to an end. That chain breaks now and forever. It comes to an end. Hallelujah. Let's just flow with what the Holy Spirit is doing. If this is all he does tonight, that's all right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing two eyes in the spirit and God wants to open up at least 19 people here in the realm of visions and supernatural experiences. Listen, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, prophetic fountains, those eyes in the spirit, sheketa taparata, sheketete pokotos, at least 19 people, at least 19 people, Shataka Bariata, fire, physical fire coming upon your eyes, physical fire coming upon your eyes. Open them up, oh God, to these dimensions of supernatural revelations. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the angel of the Lord. And God wants to cause barrenness from two families. Now, two families, right now, just two families. Father, wherever these families are represented, right now, let your power visit and set them free now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, this row. All of you here, just lift your hands. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. From the front, right to the back, there are people that God again is visiting their families. 
families, families, God is bringing breakthrough. Right now, right now, just this road, Lord, in the name of Jesus, let those families, let the angel of the Lord, there are angels walking through this crowd. Right now, right now, right now, in the name that is above all names, angels of the Lord walking to families, performing specific miracles. Specific miracles, specific miracles, specific miracles. Hello, Gim Madonna. 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 Hallelujah. I cast that spirit from this lady. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands everyone. Lift your hands. There are some devils that need to leave this place right now. Hallelujah. Listen. 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 God is bringing mighty deliverance for people now. Every service is miracle service. Are you getting my point now? We are going to shout that name Jesus. My goodness. I am telling you major deliverances that will bring breakthroughs. Breakthroughs. The symbol. Hallelujah. At the count of three I want you to shout that name. I command every devil and every spirit every act of witchcraft and divination in the name of Jesus and at the count of three they must come out of their hiding places and go never to return are you ready now one two three I cause devils now I cause spirits now I cause spirits every wicked spirit out of God's people out of every family now I break spells I break witchcraft I break the power of divination bring them out bring them out I cost that power it's not just them families they are families i set fire 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 upon altars i set fire i set fire upon Lift your hands again. God is visiting families. This is not about you. All the people here are representing families. Lift your hands. Oh, the fire of God must fish them out. There is no hiding for any spirit. Shh. At the count of three, you will shout that name at the top of your voice. And a sword of the spirit will go to your family. There must be deliverance tonight. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Jesus! We 
Hallelujah. The Bible says, How awe inspiring are your ways? It says, Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. All the people you see here, they are representing their families. God is stepping into families. Those doors must be open. I see ancient gates in the spirit. Ancient gates. And I'm about to command them to open. Listen. When I command those gates to open, those affected, you will feel it physically. These are the gates that cause limitations over people and families. But in the name that is above all names, I come tonight under this apostolic and prophetic anointing. I command you be open. I command you be open. Hallelujah. Any family, lift your hands that is tied down by any kind of limitation. I don't care what it is. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, if that spirit has survived anywhere else in this place, this is the mount of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command those doors open now. I command those doors open now. Doors of breakthrough be 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 open now. By the force of the spirit, be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Hallelujah. Self time in the name of Jesus. Come on, shout it, shout it. Say after me, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I, declare I declare that every force, that every force stopping, the of my family, stopping the advancement of my family by the fire of the Holy Ghost, the of the Holy Ghost. Live, now. live now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Pick up your Bibles, Daniel chapter 10. The devil is in trouble tonight. Daniel chapter 10. You have come for koinonia. It's an experience. It's a mountain. Something must change about your life. Daniel chapter 10. Verse 10. And behold. And hand touched me. And set me upon my knees. And upon the palms of my hands. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright. For unto thee I am now sent. And when he had spoken this word to me, I stood trembling. Verse 12. Then said he unto me, Fear not. Daniel had been fasting and praying. He said, For from the first day, that thou didst set thy heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God. Thy words were heard and I am come to thee for thy words. Verse 13. But the prince, listen, but the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days and lo, Michael, man da kapokotopaya, one of the chief princes came to help me and I remained there with the kings of Persia. Listen, the Bible says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Then it says, against principalities, against powers, then against rulers, then against spiritual wickedness. They do not operate in the earth realm. The Bible says they operate in the heavenlies. This Prince of Persia was the territorial spirit across the land of Persia. So when Gabriel was bringing the answer, the solution, that prince stopped him. I have been put in charge of this territory to make sure that breakthrough does not come to men. To make sure that men are not lifted. But there was a man in the earth realm who kept praying. And while he prayed, it was on the strength of his authorization. The, from the arsenals of heaven, the archangel Michael had to come because he's the archangel in charge of war. We are going to pray tonight. Every land has territories. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Every land has territories. And there are spirits. Those of you who have listened to the message, give me this mountain. There is a spiritual dimension to life. And there are, met, there are certain things that will never manifest in your life until you prevail in prayer. Jacob held on to him. He said, I will not let you go. He said, leave me for the day break it. He said, no way. He said, what is thy name? He said, Jacob. He said, your name will be changed to Israel. For as a prince, you have power with God and you have prevailed. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Don't let anybody fool you. And tell you what we just read was the Old Testament. And in the New Testament, when you pray, it just comes. It, 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 it makes... Listen, the kingdom of God is a system. The earth realm is a system. Are you getting my point? It is as soon as Zion travails, hallelujah, that she will put forth. There is a birthing. This is the ninth month. If you didn't come to pray tonight, I'm so happy about the rain. Because you won't go anywhere. We are going to pray. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray now? We are going to pray. Listen. We are going to confront powers. Zechariah chapter 1, please, quickly. Zechariah chapter 1, verse 18. Zechariah chapter 1. Verse 18. Then I lifted up my eyes and I saw. And I beheld what? Four horns. A horn is a symbol of authority. Next verse. And I said unto the angel that talked with me. 
what be these what are these horns and he answered me these are the horns that have scattered judah these are the horns that have scattered jerusalem these are the horns that are making your father to never reconcile with your mother these are the horns that make finances to stop when it's about to come these are the horns hindering the gates of marriage verse 20 and the lord showed me four carpenters then i said what come this to do he said these are the horns that have scattered judah judah means praise these are the horns that have robbed you of your testimony of your joy he said so that no man does what lift up his head they have put a barrier around your family and your life and they have said no man will lift up his head so every time you want to lift up your head there are horns they stationed hear me and take seriously what i'm saying they have drawn the boundaries man takata goodness i tell you i sense deliverance fire in this place tonight oh those horns must leave for sure there are horns stationed across territories to make sure that men do not rise some of you this is a limitation you are the first person in your family to get to the university there are horns but tonight in the name of the lord jesus christ we are going to step out and put on our priestly regalia we are going to confront the heavens he told Job, he said, Has thou commanded thy morning? Did you speak into the heavenly territories? Did you command the things to align themselves? We're praying tonight. The Bible says the stars fought for Deborah. She was a warrior, and the constellations arranged themselves to make sure that enchantments could not go to the heavens. Lift your voice. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Come on now. You have to be more serious than this. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare. I declare. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. All right. That every power. Across my territory. That wants to stop me. And stop my family. From rising, up, from rising up I challenge you tonight, challenge you tonight. By, the by the blood of Jesus lift your voice and begin to pray <laughs>
Hallelujah. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, we are praying tonight. Jude 1. Jude 1, verse 9. You will see tonight that Satan is interested in this body that you wear. Jude 1. Everyone read. Want to read. Hold on. Do you see Michael again? Michael in Daniel contending against powers. He shows up again in the book of Jude. Read on. Want to read. Hold on. He disputed about the what? Spirit, soul, body. Satan wanted the body of a man. Satan wants the bodies of men. Not just their spirits. Because without a body, without a body, demonic activities cannot be carried out. The church is called the body that the Holy Ghost uses. It's called the body of Christ. The body that the Holy Ghost wears. There is a law in this realm. That any spirit that does not have a body cannot function in this realm. So Satan wants the body of Moses. If he looked for the body of Moses, Moses in the Old Testament, how much more your own body? So he will afflict you. He wants your body. So he will manipulate your body and all kinds of objects moving around. But the Bible says, Know ye not that your bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Know ye not. Listen. We are going to pray. I am establishing a prayer point. Jesus entered the temple which was his body and he found out that there were strangers in that temple. Are you getting my point now? Those who should be in the temple were not there. And he found people doing business in the temple. There were transactions going on in his body. That's the same way Satan carries out all kinds of transactions. In human bodies. And you hear people complaining. Objects are moving in my body. You see people sleep in the night. And all kinds of devilish things come to oppress them. Tonight we are going to pray. Are you getting my point? Please, if you are sitting, except you are under the anointing, stand up. And let's take some time to pray. You must get angry tonight and let's pray. Because something must break. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Lift up your voice. Say after me, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare, I declare that, my that my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. My body, my body belongs to Jesus. Therefore, every strange spirit attempting to hold on to my body, I command you right now, depart from my body now. Lift your voice and pray. Every stranger Every stranger this body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Pray, 
Hallelujah. Everywhere the gospel was preached, Jesus demonstrated that he was not only interested in the spirits of men, but their bodies. What healing does to your body is what salvation does to your spirit man. Hallelujah. We are going to cause the root of sickness. I want you to get ready because the devil is in trouble. There's fire burning in this place this night. No matter how mad a man is, he does not enter fire by mistake in the name of madness. Are you getting what I'm saying? No matter how stupid a man is, in his insanity, he knows fire when he sees it. The Bible says he maketh his ministers wings. Are you getting my point? And his messengers flames, flames of fire. Every stranger in your body is about to leave. I don't care what it is called. Sickness is that. Let me tell you how you know that these things are demonic. Because many of us, when you pray on it, it will go. And then later on it will return. You are a lady, they pray for you. And then for one or two or three months, you find out that your period just comes normally. No pain, no nothing. And then in the fourth month, it backfires again. There are people, recurrent headache, all kinds of devils. A growth comes and then it goes. You pray and try to treat it, it goes. We are going to set it on fire right now. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible says, know ye not that your body. I showed you from the book of Jude. Satan was fighting with Michael over the body of Moses. Hallelujah. This body is your legal access for living and functioning in this realm. If it is battered beyond repair, your spirit will no longer be able to stay there and it will have to leave. So if Satan cannot get to manipulate your mind, he will batter your body in a way that your spirit cannot live and it will have to go. We are going to pray. Many of us, as you are praying right now, you will be surprised. Huh? Now is the time to pray all those. Hold on, please, one minute. Genotype. Huh? I've read my Bible from Genesis. Please listen. This is very serious what I'm sharing. There's no mention of any nonsense of genotype in this Bible. Have you read your Bible? There are many ladies right now, many guys, they cannot even get married. They can't think of anything because the devil put one rubbish embargo called genotype. S, S, A, S, and all of those rubbish. Now you want to get married or you want to settle down, they tell you no, health wise. Every parent is carrying their child and running away. The devil is in trouble tonight. We are going to pray. If he was not here, he should not be in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Believe what I'm saying. Whatever has affected this body has affected God's property. And we're going to pray and invoke his presence that he will rise in his jealousy and attack any stranger. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many of you, as you pray, growth will disappear. See, the trouble is that many of us have been praying, but we, we of course, I know not here, but generally, we, we do not know the power of the corporate anointing. Psalm 133 talks of God depositing the blessing where people are gathered together in unity. That's different from your personal prayer life. Are you getting my point now? We are going to pray. There are traits of infirmities around your family. There are traits of infirmity in your life. There are many of us, all sorts of embarrassing conditions, skin problems, to the minutest, to anything. Hear me! No matter how small it is, it is according to your faith tonight. Are you getting what I'm saying? 
He said, whatever my father has not planted, whatever he has not planted, it must be uprooted. Don't sit down and tolerate it. What you tolerate in your body, the devil will use it to destroy you. But when you resist the devil, the Bible says he will flee. Lift up your voice. We are going to pray again. Say after me, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every sickness, every infirmity, every abnormality in my body, hear the word of the Lord. I command you to leave this body now. I command you to leave this body now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2, verse 24 and 25. Joel chapter 2. Let's start from verse 23. Joel 2, verse 23. Want to read? Verse 24. Verse 25. Shout it with all your heart. Shout it. Listen, listen, listen. We are still praying. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Based on the word of God. I place demand. For restoration. In my life. In my family. Hallelujah. We are going to pray that prayer again. You know the areas you want restoration. Please we are not playing games tonight. The presence of God is here. Hallelujah. When we get to that party, we'll mention it. And we're going to pray. 
the bible says i will he didn't say i will send someone i will supervise your restoration hallelujah the years we are going to say lord turn the hands of time again turn the hands of time let that which the devil has stolen be restored there are things that need to be restored tonight hallelujah say after me in the name of jesus, name of jesus. I, receive I receive sevenfold restoration, receive restoration of everything the devil has stolen in my life now mention them your health whatever it is Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and give him thanks. We bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Because our eyes will see the desires of our hearts and our hands will handle it. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please sit down. Just give me 10, 15 minutes and we're out of here. If this is all we have done tonight. It is worth it. There's no place for you to sit, stand, sit on the floor, sit anywhere. Go ahead. The service is already on, so. Please, there should be no vacant seat. There are still people standing. The person is under the anointing. Let the person lie down on the floor and let someone use the seat. Hallelujah. Revelation is not knowing what the word of God has said. Revelation is knowing how to make it work in your life. Hallelujah. Revelation is not knowing what God has said. It's not even knowing that there is a kingdom principle. That's not revelation. Revelation is knowing how to make that principle work in your life. If it cannot work in your life, then it's useless. Hallelujah. See, we keep sharpening ourselves like this, like arrows in the presence of God. We're sharpening ourselves. Because we're trusting God to attain a statue in the spirit. Where no power in existence can stop your fulfilling God's destiny for your life. You believe that? There is a generation that is depending upon our faithfulness. The Bible says, he that sows to the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. And he that sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap life eternal. We are making investments in the spirit. We are laboring, we are traveling. You won't be surprised when you see your life and your prophetic destiny tomorrow. 
because you will know that yes it is god's grace but paul said it this way i am what i am by the grace of god right but he said this grace was not showered upon me in that i labored more than ye all there is grace that manifests as the favor of god and there is grace that manifests as supernatural empowerment to do hallelujah the lord is changing your life i'm telling you gradually the bible says line upon line precept upon precept your value system your life the quality of your christian experience is changing and then like the 71 day he will trust you with responsibilities he will send you and you will be shocked to see that he has built you to be his finest the finest of the finest of the best don't trivialize what god is doing in your life brothers and sisters week after week you're submitting yourself to the dealings of the spirit and it will translate into something in your life you may not look like it now see that there is no athlete who wants to look good when you are rehearsing have you seen an athlete like that you are conscious of your shoe let it not have mud. no 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 when when you are training you will see footballers get dirty and all of that but when they lift that trophy huh they can now dress and enjoy the celebration my bible tells me that no man that warreth will entangle himself with civilian affairs these trainings will prune you it will it will it will build you listen to me it will challenge you it will stretch you it will provoke you but when you submit to the dealings of the spirit the end of it is peace something will happen in your life that money cannot buy something will happen in your life that is not common you will now know that it is not common to be yielded to the spirit it's not a gift not everybody is interested there are many people who are born again but very few people are interested in the things of the spirit so god is teaching us we spend time now to pray and travel in the spirit you cannot imagine the levels of victory and so you would just step home and you see that doors begin to open and some of you your loved ones will not know they will just say aha things are working well now things don't just work they are enforced in the spirit learn this learn this learn this one day it will change it's a waste of time time does not change things are you getting me engaging kingdom principles 38 years that man was at the pool of Bethesda. In less than five minutes, he got up. He would have remained there forever. So the word of God that you are receiving, you must believe it. Please hear me. You must believe it. If you're just sitting down and watching every week and just looking and hoping that this word will make sense one day, you may be deceiving yourself. The Bible says ever learning. Have you seen people like that? They have all of the revelation, but never coming to the comprehension of the truth. Depart from those kinds of people. When you come into the presence of God, give your heart. It says meditate on these things. Give yourself wholly to them. And it gives you an assurance. What's the assurance? That thy profiting may appear. Look, let me tell you. Um, you see... If your life does not bear fruit after a particular time, you will be frustrated. Because it's God that sees the heart. Men look at the outward appearance. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Men do not have the ability to see the heart. So your Christian experience must translate into a testimony that glorifies the name of the Lord. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If it does not, your family members will never see the relevance of your commitment to prayer and to the study of the word the disciplines and the constraints of the spirit say my life will bear fruit 
Say it. My life will bear fruit. Brothers and sisters, if you go to your house and there is a sick person and you have a revelation and you pray for that sick person, stand up my brother, and you pray for that sick person and the sick person stands up, do you know that that is a sermon that is more than one year of beckoning up? You don't need to invite people and say, come for God. No, 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 no. The woman, at the, Samar the Samaritan woman said, come and see a man that has told me everything I've done. What is the result in your life that compels people to want to know about God? If your life continues to remain a barren wilderness, there is no reason why people should be attracted to your God. There was something that Ruth saw and she told Naomi, he said, my, your God will be my God. Hallelujah. It's not just for you to come and watch a man of God doing great things. No. It's to provoke your spirit and you go back with that anointing. You're not falling down for nothing. Say, I'm anointed. Say it. And some of you are even laughing at yourself. Say it. It has nothing to do with fivefold ministry. It has everything to do with being alive. Hallelujah. And you step into your house, you step into your place of work, and you step in as an ambassador, as an envoy. Don't let people mock your emoji. Emoji for nothing. Emoji, emoji. They keep calling you. When there's trouble, they pass you. Your yeah, emoji as a nickname. No. Emoji, you say yes, and they pass you and, and you are not contributing anything to the kingdom Elisha said hi I love that guy he said let Naaman come and know that there is a prophet in Israel hallelujah that there is a prophet in Israel can the devil look at your family and say ah if, if only I can shift Zuera out of the way and like a big hand you stay there and say you are invited. I have become a shield. He said, as for me and my house. For many of us, it's as for me and myself. It must translate beyond you. Are you getting my point? You shield others. You are minding your business and you see the devil trying to oppress somebody. You say, Satan is my business. Is my business whether you invite me or not it is my business you must let this person go hallelujah listen it's not enough for you don't get used to seeing miracles healings deliverances you know in Koinonia we are so used to miracles when it happens you just watch one of those things that's happened again you see it's a lesson. It's a handwriting upon your life. Are you hearing me? That God is challenging you and telling you that your life ought to be supernatural in every way. Not just by making noise and disturbing people when they are sleeping, praying in tongues. No. It must translate. It says, let your light so shine before who? Before yourself? Before men. You already know you have the light, but they do not know. It said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good and as a result, praise your father in heaven. When was the last time someone spoke to you about his situation and you said, that's all right. That's all right. I come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you picked up your phone. You said, let's pray. Many of us, it's just, hey, yeah. See, I just returned from Koinonia. It was powerful this night. Ah, you missed. And Ben said, I'm, I'm having a little stomach ache. Said, oh it's like that let's let's just lie down it's too late the chemist is closed or, or, no, no 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 you need to get angry one day are you hearing what i'm saying as soon as you get home you hear your sister saying finally my name came out they are about to to downsize me and 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 do all of that and you say oh i'm sure that god knows how he will work things out look at what you are saying you are the ambassador. You are the voice of God in that room. You must die. One of the things I've learned, listen to me. One of the things I've learned about walking in the anointing is that you must die to your ego. Hello? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many of us are so conscious. What if I 
I tell the people God will bless you and God doesn't bless them. Tomorrow they will now see me and say, Pastor, that prayer, you know people are so funny. Pastor, you prayed and the prayer didn't work. Oh. And you feel stupid, you feel embarrassed. If I do well, God should take the glory. If nothing happens, who should take the shame? Uh, answer me. Who should take the shame? So if you are taking the shame, you have been. Hallelujah. Go and pray for the sick person. Pray. Let the person die in your hands. No problem. Just pray. You now go and find out what is wrong with you. And then the person says, there's, there's one wound. If I open it, you say, ah, you wouldn't have even told me. Look, just quietly go to the hospital. Oh. Challenge your faith. Hallelujah. Don't say me, I'm not a man of God's wife. I want peace. I don't want to trouble Satan. Let him know. Take away, you see, I believe that our mindsets are changing. That mindset of, I don't trouble you, Satan. Don't trouble me too. Let's all mind our business. It does not work in this earth realm. Are you getting what I'm saying? It does not work in the earth realm. There are many of us, I would not be surprised that there are some of us who sit down like that. You believe that because you are not active in the things of the kingdom, when the devil comes, you will jump you and go and look for those who are really causing him trouble. And you say, the devil passed, please pass. I don't have anything. I didn't look for any trouble. It doesn't work that way. Satan does not disturb you because you have become a slave to him. Right? But you must, you must tear down the assaults of the devil over the lives of people. Say one more time, I'm anointed. Say it, I'm anointed. The Holy Ghost just took over this meeting. Let's just flow with the way he's... I'm anointed. Look at your hands. Everyone look at your hands. I know you have been insulting it. That it doesn't look nice. Forget about all those ones. Look at your hand. Whatever you have there is your hand. Whether it's rough or smooth, it's irrelevant. Just look at your hand. I'm talking about the spiritual, the spiritual content. I like you to say, my hands represent the hands of Jesus. They carry the anointing of the Holy Spirit. They can produce results and work wonders. Do you believe that? This is, God bless you, this is my mentality. This is my mentality. My hands are not just for eating. No. It's, there, is, there is something upon my hands. Jesus has placed his hands upon my own hands. Many of us, we keep falling down and rising, but we are not blessing anybody. I want to ask you a few questions. Just a few minutes and then we'll round up. Listen. How many of us believe we are anointed? We just said we are all anointed. The question I have for you tonight is, who has your anointing brought to the kingdom? Has your anointing been able to save anybody? I once was lost. Huh? Come brother. That this brother was lost and on the strength of the anointing that you have, whether it was to save him, to get him healed, he has now come into the saving knowledge of the kingdom. If your anointing, listen, I will tell you why many people do not see more of the anointing in their life. They want anointing. And the first question is for what? What do you want it for? So you'll be speaking and people will fall down. If that is your definition of the anointing, if that is your scope, you know, especially the youth, we like power. And, and there's nothing wrong with it. You like the fact that you just sit down and say, I'm speaking. Some of you, while I was talking and things were happening, you were, it was as if you were pouring cold water in your body. Calm down. The Lord is speaking to you right now. Calm down. If there is no passion in your heart to see his kingdom come, I am telling you now, you do not need the anointing. And you shall receive dunamis. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Please project it for us. And you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And that power is to an end. 
he says and you shall be what witnesses witnesses who is a witness who is a witness if tosin slaps this gentleman and i saw it what do you call me a witness if we go to the court i said tosin really slap i saw it so i'm a witness the holy ghost makes you a witness you were not there when jesus died are you are you getting what i'm saying you were not there when jesus died were you there you were not there on the cross but now you are standing to represent a message that you were not there physically so the holy ghost says at least i was i was i was there i was not in jesus on the cross but i was around i saw everything let me partner with you you do the talking and then i will prove that you are not a liar are you getting what i'm saying so you tell the sick that jesus has healed you all of this rubbish sickness is over and the holy ghost says yes i was there on the cross by his stripes this guy has been healed and you stretch forth your hands and the holy ghost validates that your claims are true everyone say i'm a witness but the, the challenge is that many of us are not witnesses indeed you have roommates you have people in your workplace and there's no transformation no transformation the lord is speaking to us tonight hallelujah i may not have time to talk so much about it but i i, I really wanted to talk extensively on soul winning tonight when god just took over we give him praise hallelujah we give him praise because at least he visited people and he blessed people but the question i have for us is that who is coming to the saving knowledge of jesus christ because of the investment of the spirit upon your life there are many of us who are the only ones who are born again in our family there are many of us you leave people just in and you get up and carry your bible and come for koinonia and you are happy again and again we've had people here especially students when they're in their final year some of them get to find out about koinonia it's not like they do not know but for many people the god of this world has blinded their minds they don't care are you getting my point point? and some of us just sit down we just watch and the devil keeps destroying these lives and then at a point where they have two or three weeks to get out of zaria then they come and you see them crying and wondering and getting angry with you and you say sorry it's okay now and then you don't do anything about it again the lord is speaking to us do you know why many ministries let me be sincere with you do you know why many ministries are small small in terms of membership and small in terms of impact look at every ministry that there is a rich investment of the ministry of the holy spirit they are committed to turning many into righteousness right and transforming lives why should i want the holy ghost in my life why should i want his anointing when i'm not interested in praying for the sick right when i'm not interested in 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 seeing people set free you see the church has reduced anointing to money hello hello and many of us are already becoming victims of this theology our concept of anointing is just power to prosper so i have the anointing meaning i have the anointing to prosper financially so you buy the car you buy the clothes you build the house you do everything and you say i'm anointed if you have ever doubt my anointing look at the fruits of my anointing car house will car go to heaven answer me will house go to heaven listen listen brothers and sisters we must begin to live having the passions of god in our heart there are many of us here we used to be committed to genuine evangelism genuine evangelism and we are allowing this this demonic wave of complacency in the church to just come around there are many churches i say this with all apology and due respect they cannot even remember the last time they made an altar call and they don't care correct they don't care 
to an extent that we can preach and look at many evangelical meetings and crusades right now on the crusade ground is money they are raising and doing miracles as great as that is the end of all of these things is to see a soul not just saved in terms of the religiosity saved but lives transformed every society is a reflection of the quality of the mindsets that are there this is why we are passionate and committed we do everything that we do week in week out to make sure that souls are saved and lives are transformed you will notice that i've almost not missed any koinonia meeting no matter where i am no matter where i am i try to make sure that friday i am back you know why because this work is my primary assignment any external ministration is just an extension of the apostolic impact are you getting what i'm saying now but this is the core and some of you are pastors let me talk to you or some of you are men of god you have your church you are in a year you will only preach once or twice and members are just sitting down and being confused under different kinds of messages and theologies everybody coming with his i believe in the corporate impute of the body but the man the one that god has put as a shepherd you must stay and build the people you are constructing an ideology and it must be sustained so that the people are built in that ideology so that they won't be tossed through and fro by every junk and every wind of doctrine there are some things when some of you hear now you won't even pray about it is that true on account of what you have known The word of god comes to build you but when it builds you it creates a sense of responsibility you can't just be falling for nothing and then you stand up and you just clean your body and when you are going you say guy i fell today again oh, i've been falling the last three weeks this person said me too oh, this thing i don't know how it works that's not the goal it's not a thing to just it's it's, it's for you how many of you here have have sat down to say look Bring 5,000, bring 5,000. Let's make a very serious tract. Tract that is well edited and, and has the kingdom, not religion. Say, I don't have a ministry. You don't need a ministry. You need passion. You see, that's the mindset we all have. Huh? We believe that for impact to ever happen, you must have a ministry. So three friends come together. They bring the 5,000 5, and say, come, let's settle this. Thing. Who is the Jew of this group? Who is the real Jew? If they sow a seed now, who does it go to? That is to be carnally minded. The Bible says is dead. That's that's really what carnality is. That you are already that. See, Judas was not a bad person. Judas was a carnal person. He looked at Jesus, and he had a business idea. The name of his business idea was Jesus. How he can use Jesus Christ and make money. That was all that was why he didn't even use the money he thought that when they come to catch jesus christ he would do his majestic thing again when he found out that that thing had backfired he died he killed himself how many of us here we are on facebook some of us some of us are on twitter some of us are and we well not 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 many i say this for the sake of those who will be listening to the message there are many of us it's just rubbish if you are happy today everybody will know on facebook that you are happy joyful the sun is shining tomorrow if you are angry this world what a dark place your whole your whole emotional life on display idleness we don't live with the consciousness of the kingdom as you are laughing please take seriously what i'm saying hallelujah yet we want to see the glory of god in our lives what is wrong with using your posts and say lord i may not be a man of god i may not have the power to heal the sick now but i commit myself is that true to making sure that every week one soul is saved i must come for koinonia with somebody sister how has your beautiful face translated into soul winning in the kingdom let me talk to ladies your beauty is either bringing people into the kingdom or taking people out of the kingdom is that true there's nothing as neutral 
So the brother sees you and says, Sister, you are very fine. Say, we give glory to the, the name of the Lord. I'm inviting you. Let me use this opportunity and invite you. If you are afraid of talking to the person about Jesus Christ, some of us, once they just say you are beautiful, they just say, ah, let me not bring Jesus into it. As if Jesus is putting sugar inside food. You know, it's as if, let me, let me savour this moment now. It doesn't come every day. Let me enjoy it. Jesus, stay away. Let me not bring any religiosity. And then, the Lord watches you from the throne and says, you pray, you want a ministry. You want a ministry where you are everywhere. You want an international ministry and God sees your heart. And he knows that there are some levels of the anointing. If we give this person, you are going to be a disaster to the kingdom. And he measured a thousand cubits. That man was there until he proved that he was faithful. Then another thousand cubits was measured. There are some of us, even if you fast for 100 days, I am telling you, more anointing will not come until you step up your passion and your, and your reckless abandon for the things of the kingdom. We are afraid of being looked at as being fanatical. Right? So many of us, I'm not a man of God, please, please, I can, I can so see it. You know, there's this theology people teach. There are those who give. There are those who preach. Many people say I'm in the category of the givers. No, everybody is in all three categories. You must give, you must pray, you must preach. Hallelujah. Don't just say me, I'm a giver. And then, because the man of God really needs money desperately, he say you are doing the same thing with me. You who is giving me and preaching is all the same thing. It's true that it's the same thing, but if it's the same thing, it means you can switch. It's still the same thing. Preach to who has changed because of you. How many of us does your presence judge sin and iniquity? Listen to what I'm saying. Does your presence, I'm not talking of condemnation, right? I'm not talking of condemning people and just writing people off. That's, 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 that's something else. That's a theology that came from hell. But does your presence judge sin and iniquity truly? That someone wants to do something bad and your presence is an inconvenience to the person. For some of us, your presence is a, is a catalyst. Let's say, hey, thank God, you have even come, sir. And then let me not even, let me not just bypass this. How many of us have truly made up our minds to part with iniquity? Listen, listen. Please do not ever think that there is a way of negotiating your way into intimacy with God. If you really want authentic power, iniquity must be far from you. When I talk of iniquity, you, you know what I'm talking about. It must be far. Don't say it does not matter. Don't say it does not matter. I'm repeating it. You must hear me. Don't say it does not matter. You will never walk in authentic power. That's why a lot of people cast out demons. The demons cast them too. Because they know that Jesus said, Satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself. We joke around with the issue of sin and iniquity in the body of Christ. And then we believe that because God is gracious, right? Iniquity is what will give Satan access to your life, your state of heart. Iniquity is not just sleeping around or drinking and smoking. They are fruits of that iniquity. Iniquity is a state of heart that is perpetually rebellious towards God and the laws of the kingdom. The psalmist said, if I cherished iniquity in my heart, the Lord would not have heard me. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? He said, he that has clean hands and a pure heart. When there are still Christians giving bribe and taking bribe, you will never see the hand of the Lord. Don't say it does not matter. You want job. Somebody saying, bring 250,000 and you are happy he says like that it's nigeria please don't bring any church thing here bring it oh bring it because you are the don't try to dichotomize your life and say this is my social life 
this is my spiritual life what is the meaning of that nonsense in one of the revelations the four living creatures were in one body huh four dimensions functioning in one body we must be far from iniquity it has been the ancient key to the presence and the power of God and by the grace of God Almighty we will not water it down in koinonia we will preach the full gospel I will tell you the truth the secrets that bring the glory and the presence of God there are many of us we watch all kinds of nonsense we think it does not matter look at look at the way your mind is huh? you can't look at a beautiful lady and just go free as soon as they are sharing the grace may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ you feel like starting another service for yourself because you have you have polluted your mind watching all kinds of nonsense it's a culture it's a sacrifice am I blessing you tonight oh yes it's a sacrifice there are many of us ladies anybody you can even be walking on the road somebody will just park and say enter you say really let me enter first and find what sort of don't you live by values everybody say values say it shout it values as a kingdom citizen never forget this we live by values you may see us jump around but let me tell you the love of God constrains us hallelujah sister let people be able to look at your life and say how can a beautiful lady like this not be loose and he said no i may be beautiful but i have so I'm, i've given myself like a love slave to god that i'm beautiful you know many brothers see our beautiful ladies you know koinonia has pretty ladies right brothers say amen, amen. they are your wives too so say amen. amen but listen to me now the issue here is that before the transition between now and when they become your wives you must mind yourself and discipline yourself and be a genuine christian hallelujah brothers let me give you a little secret if you don't mind yourself with respect to ladies i'm not talking of sleeping around ladies men that are over conscious about ladies never encounter the presence of god powerfully i'm not talking of sleeping around you are just thinking it's, it's still it's still the same thing you are you are stopping your mind from entering certain dimensions of the secret place i'm not saying frown at any lady after corner saying mm, i'm pressing it to god no that's not what i'm saying there are many of us our own encumbrances is what i call carnality what you wear you can be thinking of what to wear for koinonia from saturday which one will i wear let me add this is good we believe in excellence but be careful lest it corrupts your time we believe in excellence but let me tell you it's better to wear bathroom slippers and come and focus and flog it out with destiny and change your life who cares whether you wear your visage or gucci thank god but demons can bypass that visage and oppress your life and that's what we are trying to tackle in this place are you getting what i'm saying when you take care of your spiritual life then you can beautify your body on the other hand let me balance it on the other hand there are some of us that are careless about our our bodies we, we do not know that is still part of spirituality right what you wore yesterday you just look at it smell it not very smelly you just carry it and you're on your way to koinonia no. be intentional about your coming here don't make it look like it's a mistake be intentional plan these are all aspects of the kingdom let everything about your life neatness neatness thoroughness some of us are very dirty the way you are sitting down looking at me like this your rooms there are still plates that all these things are i'm just showing you how that your life must draw people it will either draw people towards god or away from him and don't you say it does not matter the bible says add to your faith virtue the word virtue there is moral excellence say i'm changing especially if you really are say it i'm changing 
because some of you as God is speaking to you go back to your rooms and wash that plate this night wash it this night hallelujah if come sweetheart if I'm going to get married to this lady I'm taking my revelation of God together with all the unrenewed liabilities that I have I'm coming to say bring your own and, and let's, let's, let's wed in holy matrimony the question is are you going to be a blessing to your partner or the person will look at you and say had I known what deceived me what didn't I see huh say I'm a blessing the Bible says in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed bless you you must be a soul winner from today whatever you will do to bring souls to the kingdom I say whatever in the positive way right don't go and do all kinds of Babylonian things and say whatever let souls be one no in the kingdom the means is as important as the end I've taught you right because if, if you say I am doing this and that so that souls will come I, I allowed the man to go for weekend with me because I'm trying to win him between now and the next one month he must be born again no no that's not that's not the kind of born again we're talking about praise the lord say in the name of jesus say in the name of jesus i become serious with my spiritual life in the name of jesus i lay aside every weight and everything that corrupts my christian testimony two more things i'll talk about and then we'll pray and we'll be done hallelujah i want to talk about two things i have seen across that stops many souls from coming to the kingdom number one is anger among believers write it i don't know where this impartation of the spirit of anger flew and came from there are many of your anger is not demons the demons left since february miracle service but the anger is still there anger rage it is an aspect of your christian life you must blot out you must blot out please write it anger you can be as calm as a dove but when you get angry you can give it to anybody there are some sisters right here in this place you would have been married since if only you address this issue if you like go to prophet apostle pastor teacher you must change that thing. there are some brothers here you don't have friends say i don't care i'm in a world all by myself you have beat everybody close to you because of anger your younger ones run away from you there's nothing about your life that is pleasing because of anger there are many pastors today the anger and the rage they have they can finish preaching even on stage they can almost slap the other person i said sing ten or what, what are you singing and you are wondering and then the guy turns and says, let's pray and he's looking i say i don't <laughs> number two immorality immorality let's bury this thing this night look at me look at me do not let anyone please 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 koinonia my conscience must be clear before god and i must tell you do not let anyone convince you convince you that a life of immorality you can be able to patch your christian experience and patch immorality i'm saying it now you must hear me in jesus name i'm i'm telling you this from the depths of my heart there are many of you as i'm talking even the holy spirit is saying thank you jesus finally i'm getting to i'm not condemning you <laughs> i tell you the number of believers sir the number of believers that are compromising on their Christian integrity especially over the issue of immorality this is probably one of the biggest reasons 
why many souls do not come to the kingdom. If you are involved in all those things, I love you, but you must stop this night in Jesus' name. Say amen, whether it be you are part of it or not. Say amen. Immorality is not just sleeping around. Hold on. So that you don't just say, thank God, me, I don't sleep around. Even God knows. Hold on. Pornography. Pornography. Right now we have our blackberries. It's amazing. You check Christian phones and see the kinds of things there. I will talk about it. Pornography. All kinds of other devilish things. And don't just blame the devil. The day your roommate sees you and says, ah, what is this with naked? They say, it's, it's Satan. I'm, I'm even waiting for the end of the month. No. Don't mock God. Don't mock God. Don't make it look like you come for miracle service and say, Lord, I'm open. And then you receive that one. There are many of us who are great men and women of God, but this is the setback in our lives. Right? Look, listen to me. This is, this is Bethel, the place of bread. Huh? What I'm doing to you now is like a, jo a doctor giving a patient injection. You feel the pain, but that chloroquine must enter so that you will be healed. Immorality. Sisters, let me talk to you. You must create rules in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If you have not been doing it, create rules. If you are in a relationship, talk about it. You are in a relationship with, with a lady. Part of the reasons why you are in a relationship with her is because you are physically attracted to her. Sit down and be saying, I'm a man of God and you'll be very surprised. Warn yourself. Tell yourself, myself, behave. Receive grace from God. Create boundaries. Huh? I, will, I will tell you this. Don't think, oh, this is the Lord. Mm -hmm. Man, if this law is going to keep you focused and useful, so be it. So be it. Hallelujah. There are many of us. Study yourself, sister. You know you are very vulnerable. Huh? Don't go as and say, I know he's just a pastor. It's been long since I washed his plate. Was the plate not washed? Was it not washed? Thank God for your generosity, but you must be careful. Anything you cannot do in the open is questionable. Are you getting what I'm saying? And many of us who are pastors here, you are the, we are the ones that are subject to the greatest attack. Hear me. Hear me. Man of God, you accepted the call and you are careless with your life. You will be very surprised. If there is the call of God upon your life, guard your anointing. You see the way men embarrass themselves. You can fake healing. Deliverance is what will really show you whether you are all of that. You'll be casting at the demons. The demons are just laughing and saying all kinds of things. It should never be so. We are going to pray because I know that there are people affected in these areas. Are you getting my point? And trust me, if you think you need help, please see me for counseling. I am more than more than willing to help you we are a family don't say i'm a man of god i'm struggling with masturbation or struggling with immorality and i think is 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 an issue there's nothing to be ashamed of are you hearing what i'm saying there is nothing to be ashamed of because you see spiritual things cannot be hidden for too long they will find expression immorality is something we, we must work i know god is helping us we are young people right the tv the media all kinds of things the the challenge on the average young man right now is is maybe 100 times more than it used to be 40 50 years ago i understand that but it's still not an excuse and please don't let anybody fool you that everybody is doing it huh there are many of us that will tell you who is not doing it no mm -mm. There are people who truly, truly have taken advantage of the grace of God and they love God sincerely. May you be one of such in the name of Jesus Christ. May you be one of such in the name of Jesus Christ. Make up your mind. And if you think you cannot hold yourself, start finding a wife quick. Quick. No, 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 no. I'm very serious. I'm not playing games. The Bible says it. It is Bibles. I'm not saying you're married because... Mm -mm, but the Bible says if peradventure in your quest to love God 
and you find out that you have prayed, you have fasted, you know that this one is not demons again, please marry. I'm telling you this. Marry. It is a biblical, I say, it doesn't change anything. Are you joking? Are you married to know whether it changes something or not? Just marry. Obey the Bible. Don't start arguing with scriptures. Anger. Immorality. Immorality. You have, a, you have pastor friends or groups sit together and talk about this. Talk about this in love. Don't condemn people. And you, when somebody comes to meet you and says, see, I find myself sleeping around. You say, I knew it. The way I've been looking at you, I know you are not straight. No, no, no. That ministry is not given to you because that's the issue. That's, listen, listen, we're rounding up. That's the reason why many people are unable to open up because they are afraid. They don't trust us men of God. They don't trust. Somebody comes and opens up and tells you, this is the challenge in my life. This is what I'm going through. They will say, ah, have you had? Forget everybody you see preaching on stage. Oh, people are dying in silence. The other person say, what are you talking about? I say, I will just you. Something happened. No. As a minister, you are a steward. Don't betray people's trust on you. Are, are you hearing what I'm saying? But please, I'm talking to you. This is an admonishment from the depths of my heart. You feel that there are issues compromising your Christian experience and you need help. By the grace of God, God has anointed us to be able to offer you help. And with Jesus' joy and with every open heart, it's a privilege. But don't sit down and die. You can fake it before men. But you see, you are, it's, it's a seed you are sowing. It's a seed you are sowing. We are going to pray. Just two prayer points. Rise up on your feet. And we'll be done for tonight. Today's service was another dimension by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. While we are taking the first prayer point, at the same time, an altar call is going to be made. Please, everyone listen. This is a serious altar call. There are many of us tonight who are saying, Lord, please take my whole life. I'm surrendering everything to you. I'm tired of living life my own way. You may have even given your life to Christ before, but you know that you are not serious with God and you want to step up your Christian experience. God has shown you that he wants to use you. He's shown you that he wants to do mighty things. But you are saying, Lord, I've, I've not truly surrendered everything. The moment we start praying, I'd like you to just come and go on your knees here. I would like to lead you to the Lord Jesus Christ. Young, old, whatever. Please. You need to truly make up your heart and your mind to the Lord. Hallelujah. The moment we start praying, please, I'd like you to come up. We're out of time. Prayer point number one. Prayer point number one. You're going to say, Lord, put a passion for souls. Put a genuine passion for souls in my life. That beginning from tonight, I will begin to be serious about winning souls and making sure that people are established in the faith. Lift your voice and pray. While they are doing that, all those who need to come out, find your way to the front. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you as you are coming. The remaining, the rest of us, please keep praying. God bless you. All of you who are coming, just come and kneel down here. Before God. There are still people sitting down. The Lord is speaking to you. If you need to be out, don't wait for anybody. Find your way and come. While the rest of us pray. Take it seriously tonight. This is the beginning. Those of us who need to come out. This is the beginning of your journey. Your spiritual journey to relevance. Your spiritual journey. Find your way to the front. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. This is home for you. Find your way. The Holy Ghost is speaking to you. If the Holy Ghost is telling you you need to be here, then you need to be here. I surrender all. I surrender all. Those of you in front, open up yourself to the Lord from the depths of your heart. I surrender, I surrender all, all to be my precious Savior. I surrender.
Let's sing one more time. I surrender all. I'm not the person I used to be. I am a brand new person. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. Listen, all of you. You are not the brother or the sister that just came and knelt down here. You are walking up totally free. I don't care what it is you have done. I don't care what has been the testimony. He makes all things new. He makes all things new. He makes all things new. He makes all, the th all things new. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit. I declare by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. That you use these ones. May they be powerful men and women. From today transform their lives. I break the power of sin over your life. In the name of Jesus. I break the power that causes you to rebel against the ways of God. I declare that from today you will have passion for the things of God. In the name of Jesus Christ I pray. Amen. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I'd like you to celebrate them. Koinonia. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please rise up. Rise up. God bless you. Hallelujah. I salute you for making this decision. I like you to follow the ushers, follow the gentleman waving his hands. They'll have your information on Tuesday. Um, you pray with the prayer department so that you get filled with the Holy Ghost. For those of you who are not filled with the Holy Spirit, they'll administer the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Please follow the gentleman waving his hands. God bless you. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Hallelujah. Our time is up. We can take um, another prayer request. Well, that's okay for today. Um, before I invite those of us who are worshiping with us for the first time, let me just take a few announcements. Now, I want to announce something. Please, next week Friday, the Lord put this in my heart. Next week Friday, I like us as a family of faith and all those who are connected to this ministry all across the nations, all across this nation, please I like us to fast. Hallelujah. We are going to fast. And your fasting starts from 6 p.m. on Thursday. Hallelujah. Not 6 a.m. on Friday. 6 p.m. That's Friday night. You won't eat anything. We are going to be praying. There are certain things that God wants to birth and bring hallelujah so we're fasting from thursday 6 6 what 6 p.m right and we'll run it as a marathon until um if i said friday 6 p.m we will not eat before coming so we'll break by 3 p.m 3 p.m is okay so that you can eat before coming please listen it's a dry fast complete dry there's no sipping water or honey. There's none of those things. Please. I listen, listen. Those are are, are children here. For the sake of the children, um, you may they they can just start their fast from six in the morning to maybe twelve. But if they feel they can go the extra mile, no problem. If you're sick and you are on medication, you can choose whether to join us or not. But please, everyone, Thursday from six p.m. It's not just to fast and sleep. By the grace of God, from Friday morning, this, this place will be open. Prayer department from Friday, if people can pay the price, will allow this place, while the setup is going on, you can stay around, pray around, just pray and prepare. By 3 o'clock, you go and eat well and come. You won't die, please. Don't frown at me like that. You won't die. This, listen, this something will happen to your spirit. Some of you have done it. You've done more than that. But just run it that marathon. So whatever you have to do, just know that once it is 6 o'clock, even if you have not eaten the whole day, once it's 6 o'clock, know that the vehicle has started moving. Praise God. It's moving down till that time. All, all escorts, all escorts, we are stretching till 6. All escorts, we are not stopping by 3. We are stretching till 6. All your food, you can come and eat it here. Come and die here. But till 6, please. So, the whole, is not 12 hours now. It's 24 hours. And there is, I know that there is capacity that we need to build in the spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.